people who can afford to pay fees for the education of their wars should send them to fee-paying private schools. Public schools, that is schools funded by the taxpayer, should be free to all who would otherwise be unable to pay for their education. That is why the numbers of pupils who have access to secondary education has doubled since the introduction of the free senior high school policy. And that over 5.7 million persons have benefited from the policy since its inception. The full impact of this dramatic development will be felt in due course and will far outweigh the small number of privileged parents who can afford to pay for the education of their wards.